Today for show and tell, I have brought the Atari Jaguar, which uh, you've never heard of. Probably not. Isn't that I mean, pronounced Jaguar? It's Jaguar, don't be a cop. I thought, I, I thought it was Jaguar. <clears throat> Does this come up? I mean, I, yeah. I drive this a Jaguar. This is, uh, okay, this is, what god the damn fuck? this. Well, that's, well, that's the Jaguar. This is the Jaguar. Yeah. Jaguar. This is the Waguar. And, uh, Jaguar. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this fine video game system uh, claimed to be uh, ahead of its time, 64-bit, came out in, uh, ah, you wanna, you're displaying it nicely. This came out in 93, and um, it cost $250, and I, nice. m a lot of people who like collect video game stuff, um, nerds, a lot of nerds, they, they, they try to get their hands on these, and this is actually a working Jaguar CD, which apparently means something in the nerd community, because mm. I guess um, a lot of people have a hard time getting a working Jaguar so you don't have any CD do or do you? What? Any CD? I do have CD games, I just didn't bring them out. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, uh, a lot of people who collect or who collect video game stuff, they, they no, seek these cool. out oh, used. Yeah, yeah. I but I actually got this, I had the unfortunate experience of being a 13 year old boy and owning this new. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very disappointing system because you're <laughs> expecting it to just rock nuts and it, it, it didn't. Mm -hmm. um, $250 for the actual Jaguar, $150 for the CD attachment. So this whole system right here huh. is fucking $400. What is this? Wow. That is memory track. What's you that can buy the Wii U right now. This is, uh, <laughs> yeah, this whole fucking thing was $400. Bucks. This is its its memory card for the CD-based Well, games. a funny story is that I, you had, at one point in time, sold this to me. Yeah, when no, I was a kid. I had this brand new as the original owner, and <coughs> you're the only person I ever sold it to. But then bought it back. I bought it back because it became a collector's item. And really, I, <laughs> I don't remember a whole lot from all these games. I remember... This, I want to play this one. I it's remember that. you have... Skiing uh, and snowboarding. That one is... Double the pleasure. What year was this? It's actually fun. Wait, what year Tempest? was this? That's a fun You said game. you were 13? You played a heck of a lot of this game. Uh, Tempest I, and I remember No, it was 14, sorry. So you're 14, so... 1994 for a skiing and snowboarding game. That's actually a pretty. pretty it was actually. Yeah, you know what? That game is actually fun. The, the, the problem is, is it? Yeah. It says 64 bit. Okay, which would be like the N64. We know what that sure. looks like. There's this thing barely. This thing is. You barely crank that out. No, it, it's like the PlayStation. The original 32 bit PlayStation was better than this. Looked mm -hmm. better than this. Its version of Doom uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it had some. It had some good stuff, but it was one of those uh, obscure systems like the 3DO, the CDI, the Turbo Graphic 16 around sure, the early sure. 90s that took a big shit. Well, you. Uh, what this was all well, Was it? Did you or your brother have a 3DO? My brother had the 3DO. I remember seeing some of that. That was, was that to me DOS? as that, a kid. I was no, impressed. What was it? No, it was Philips. No, that was the CDI. Who, I remember who, who made the 3DO. I thought it was IDOS. I I can't remember right now who made the 3DO. That the 3DO was seven hundred dollars. Oh my god! For a, and it who's got that type of money? Especially and it was in that one came out in '93. What and your the, brother has to do? Much, <laughs> so he, I don't, his girlfriend bought it for him at the time. Oh well, who cares? Awesome. What did she have to do? Uh, suck. I like girlfriend. Major cock. Yeah, seven hundred fucking dollars. Well, this That's this hunk of shit right here is four hundred dollars, and I think I'd like to do a coast to coast drinking episode where we actually. Play some of the games on here. In I fact, want to play Iron Soldier. It's I, it, it looks like it looks, it looks, it looks, it looks, looks like, like Optimus. Oh, I don't. I don't have the game here, but there's a game in here called Kasumi Ninja. It's a fighting game that's supposed to be a ripoff of Mortal Kombat, where mm -hmm. they use digitized characters. One of the guys is Scottish, and he lifts his <laughs> kilt, and a fireball comes out. Yeah. Oh, in that's fact, that's good. the only reason I still like to play that game, just because of that. Just to kill people with my. You gotta show the controller. Don't sleep with that guy. You gotta yeah. show the controller. That thing is like. Yeah, look at this massive. fucking. Look at this controller. Well, you know what? I'm. No, it's ridiculous. It look at all these buttons. These now, are buttons. Now, didn't every game come with a sleeve to go in there? Well, a lot of the games came with like a little thing that went over this, like a, a sleeve, so it would like label the buttons for you. Um, I do remember that was one thing was, I didn't get back from. Was that like you couldn't <laughs> pause and get an inventory? You just. That was your inventory? That, well, no, you can pause the game. It was just their way of being inventive. I mean, they still do that crap with video games today. Like uh, you like two buttons. Here's how about a million? Like yes. A Cybermorph looks like a Firefox or, a Fo or Star Fox. Oh, that it, one. It, that one was a little bit reminiscent of Star Fox. It, it, well, it had the 3D graphics <laughs> like Star Fox, but it was like in an open world instead no. of a. And nothing was in. Alien versus Predator. That was awesome. This is like. 
The only reason why people even seek out this system is for this game right there. I remember watching that as a kid. That and Tempest that 2000. That was, that was pretty cool because you could pick alien or predator or marine. Yeah. You know, that was, uh, that that was, was pretty cool at night. And I think um, kind of NBA like Jam and yeah. I also have Primal Rage and that's for the CD. Mm. Those are the only two like mainstream games well that and, I remember and primal doom rage. primal rage was dinosaurs fighting each other right? yeah uh, no. this is pretty popular. another this disappointment is for the fucking system uh, primal rage was also out on the super nintendo the characters were no bigger and had no better frame rate than the super nintendo version and that was on the 64-bit jaguar cd mm. and the 16-bit cartridge advertising called can you watch fail. can you watch an expensive no it's cd cd not dvd so you can play CDs, compact discs. Actually, yeah, it has. Can't ask your parents. Um, <laughs> the DVDs weren't even like really out. Then. No, not no, no. They, no, weren't, they were twenty. Years one old. one really cool yeah, thing about this years, is yeah. uh, it has a really cool like a, five, like a like a light dis light show display thing mm -hmm. with like eighty some oh, different yeah. patterns. I remember music. that. You used to burn that thing all the time. Yeah, yeah it, was, wait, it, it doesn't project it. Or? No, 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 that'd be cool. No, no, no. no, no this, just, this sucks. This thing sucks. It's like, it's like, like it. on your screen when you do the Windows Media Player. It does the cool stuff. Well, it, it, does that. it does suck, but it's interesting. It's, it's yeah, and that's why it's on show and tell. It's covered in dust. The Atari Jaguar, get your hands on it because you're a video game it's nut. Nerd. Yikes. And uh, I'm just going to drink because... Uh, <laughs> fuck off!